In the previous video, we created some extra tiles, namely BP ramp down tile and BP ramp up tile, to give more variation to a procedural generator. With this, you can easily create your own tiles and add them into the procedural generator. In this video, we are going to add some corner tiles to a procedural generator, so that our character can turn at these corners just like in Temple Run. Most of the logic for this have already been created in part 2 of this tutorial series. So I'm going to click on the content browser over here. Then I'm going to duplicate BP ground tile. And I'm going to call this BP left corner tile. I'm going to double select this. And in the viewport, we have some adjustments to make. So since this is a left corner tile, I'm going to rotate this wall over here and then change the perspective so it's easier to align it and then I'm going to take the arrow over here and I'm going to turn it and then make sure that the alignment is correct and now that I have aligned it I'm going to go back to perspective and then we have the box collision over here make sure to align the box collision as well and then back in perspective I'm going to click on add and create another box collision. I'm going to call this corner collision. I'm going to drag this out so that it's not a child of this component over here. And this one I'm going to drag it over, drag it over here in the center and then scale it. And then over to the details panel over here, I'm going to drag down. And in here, under the collision, I'm going to select on this drop down icon and then select overlap only pawn and that's it so over in the details panel over here under events you have this option called on component begin overlap so you want to select on the plus icon over here and in here i'm going to drag the other actor output pin and type cast to third person character from here i'm going to reference the turn functionality that we have in our third person character so over here we have set this variable over here known as can turn we are going to set the can turn to true and that's it i'm going to compile it and again we're going to go to the content drawer and in here i'm going to duplicate the left corner tile and then create a right corner tile so bp right on a tile so go to the viewport and in here we are simply going to change the position of one of the walls and the arrow so that the character can turn to the right and that's it now we can just compile it since we duplicated the code and we don't need to repeat this again it's already set up over here so just go back to the to our game mode over here so before we perform any modifications, we are first going to understand what this logic actually does. So over here, I have the actor array over here, which I named it as tile array. And it will randomly select one among the blueprints that we have added over here. And the selected blueprint will go into the spawn actor over here. And the spawn actor will then first cast it to BP ground tile. And if the selected tile does not match, then it will execute the cast field and then run the next cast that is bp ramp up tile and if that fails then it will run the next cast that is bp ramp down tile if the selected tile is successfully casted then it will run the subsequent nodes that is the get arrow transform function and the get new arrow transform you can easily add your own tiles by clicking on the plus icon over here and selecting the blueprint tile that you want to use then all you need to do is add another cast by dragging out from cast field of bp ram down tile and connect it to get arrow transform and then the new arrow transform nodes with this you can actually create any number of tiles that you want to use in a game now we could technically add the left and right blueprint or the left and right corner tile into this array over here and that will properly generate it in our procedural generator 
but the issue with that is that it is going to generate multiple left or multiple right corners at the same time and if that happens then the procedural generator will kind of generate a loop that will intersect with the mesh itself so from here in the variable section i'm going to click on the plus icon and then type current tiles and then change the variable type to integer and then what i'm going to do is drag this out over here we're going to set the current tiles and then in here i'm going to drag this out again this time we're going to get it we're going to get the value of current tiles and then add this by one so we'll select the add operator and over here select one drag the return value to the current tiles over here drag the execution line and connect it to the set current tiles then over here i'm going to disconnect this connection over here drag this out get the current tiles put it on a greater node and then we're going to give a value of 7 and then connect the boolean value to the branch node connect the add ground tile function to the branch and the faults go to this spawn actor over here drag this out over here over here i'm going to type spawn actor again i'm going to connect the true value over here then we are going to promote the variable and then i'm going to call this corner tile array so now i'm going to disconnect the connection over here and then i'm going to copy them and then i'm going to paste them over here we need to go over here and change this into a container type and now connect it over to the get node over here and the last index and then connect it to class all right so from here i'm going to add the left and right corner tiles so first compile this and we have some error we go to connect the new arrow transform over to the spawn transform over here so just drag this get the value and connect it now compile it again and the error is now gone so from here i'm going to go back to the corner tile array and we're going to add the left and right corner tile so click on the plus icon add these two array elements and in here type bp left corner tile and bp right corner tile now we have to do the same thing as we had done over here so we're just going to drag over here from the return value and type cast to bp left corner tile again we're going to get the attached transform so drag from here from the sbp left corner tile output pin and type get arrow transform drag over here and set the new arrow transform and from the cast field we're going to do the same thing cast to right corner tile And then make sure to connect the return value of spawn actor using a reroute node all right so after we after we are done with these two and then we need to reset the value of current tiles by dragging it out and connecting the execution pins of the new arrow transform with it and again make sure that the number of current tiles is set to zero this way we don't keep spawning corner tiles after the number of current tiles exceeds seven so after you're done with it you can drag the execution node over here and then type print string connect the current tiles and then compile and run the game now you can see the current number of tiles being generated and whenever the current tiles reach above seven it will randomly generate a left or right corner tile and then it will reset the current tiles back to zero and repeat this way we prevent the tiles from looping itself also the player is only able to turn left or right whenever he enters a corner tile you can also notice that whenever a left or right corner tile is generated all subsequent tiles are generated facing the direction that the corner tile has been generated at so if i were to exit out you can see this better And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.